boy Evo the JTC is on the move over here, Euless, Texas, right across from Euless Trinity High School. We had a great class today talking about your credit score. Now, the beautiful thing about most of my students is not all of them, none of them have any credit. I said, the beauty behind that is that you don't have credit yet. Uh, well, that's not the beauty. The unfortunate thing is that you don't have credit yet, but the fortunate thing is that you don't owe nobody nothing yet. So we just talked about credit and your credit score, and when you do get credit, what affects your credit score? So it was just talking about um, your payment history, whether you pay your bills on time, amount owed to cur uh, current creditors, uh, whether you have a car payment or a balance on a store credit card, all these things can affect your credit score. Length of credit history in general, the longer you've had access to credit and paying your bills on time. That's two times it said that. Paying your bills on time. Types of credit used, car, mortgage payments are viewed as better debt than consumer debt. And that's what I shared with them uh, where I messed up years ago back in the 80s. Went and bought a, a jacket on a store card or a credit card and uh, I paid it off, I think, the first month. The next month, I bought something up, didn't pay it off. Took me years to get out of debt. So I just told them that, you know, you haven't had a strategy when you use debt, uh, credit. You know, uh, they're giving credit away like crazy. I said, well, usually once you get one credit card, they all start coming in. So you have to be wise, but have a reason to use it. Uh, they talked about, you know, well, if, if I buy something, I said, the, the, the best way to use credit, I said, from a personal standpoint, is when you pay the bill off every month. You know, it doesn't matter what the interest rate is. If you're paying it off every month, there is no interest on that. Uh, I said, but we also got into how have they ever lent somebody something? Somebody said, I lent somebody a jacket. I lent somebody uh, my shorts. Uh, I lent somebody some money. And I said, uh, did you get it back? That's another form of credit. When you lend somebody something, when you give somebody something, let somebody hold your car. So I said, if you got a brand new car, what kind of... Um, uh, person would you be able to give that car to expecting to get it back? They have to be trustworthy. Um, they, they've had to have a history of, of giving something back. Um, you wouldn't just give a brand new car to somebody to hold to somebody who doesn't keep their word. And that was pretty, pretty much the bottom line at the end of the lesson. I said, for the street term, this is just called keeping your word. If you say you're going to do something, <clears throat> do it. Keep your word. If you're going to borrow something from somebody, give it back. I said, there's nothing worse than giving somebody something. And then with them saying that they promised to give it back, that's their credit. I said, they don't give it back. What kind of credit they have? Not good credit. So we wanted to make sure that they didn't, they didn't, didn't just understand the business aspect of credit, but they're doing credit every day, giving somebody lunch money. Oh, let me hold your jacket. Let me hold your car. I give it right back. Get right back. And so those of us as adults, we need to take that into consideration when we say something you put your word out there, like a credit score, when your name pops up, you want it to be known for somebody who comes through. And if you're missing something, it's all, okay, my bad, I'm sorry. But missing it shouldn't be a habit. Keeping your word should. So this is your boy E. Wilson right here outside U.S. Trinity High School. We're excited about it. Stay tuned. We're going to be launching uh, a brand new phase of our website coming up uh, probably in March. Uh, and we got some other things going on with JTC, newsletter coming out, stuff like that. So we're excited about it. So listen. It's your boy E. Wilson again right here in front of you. It's Trinity High School reminding you, if you're going to have a conversation, even on what's today, a Friday, make it a good one. I'm out.